All right, guys, we are back. Today I got my little shipment in from Home Depot. I went and treated myself because I just wanted to treat myself. I uh, wanted to get some old Milwaukee parts, some tools, and I went with the Milwaukee M12. And uh, basically this was a kit. I got this, it was a package deal. You get these two items. You get, you buy this right here. Oh my God, it's heavy. You buy the fuel. Can you see that? You get this and then you had your choice of an extra tool at Home Depot. Uh, I couldn't find it on Amazon. So I went to homedepot.com. I hate shopping at the Home Depot stores. I uh, just, I don't know. You never know what you're getting. You look at the stuff. It's just not clear to me. I'm, maybe I'm just slow. But I went online. It was clear on their Home Depot site. You buy these two. And uh, then you get your choice of another tool. And I picked this one because just for, for wrenching on cars and stuff, I just wanted to try this out. This is a Milwaukee M12 3H inch racket. The 3H, the 3 8 inch racket should hold me for a while. I think that's a good one. You can get the quarter inch, which is a lot smaller, but I think 3 8 is good. You could probably put an adapter up if you have half inch sockets and stuff. So this should be good to get me through and to help out with some stuff. Excited about that. So again, go to homedepot.com, look for their fuel. You'll see it. Uh, I think it's still going on the sale. It was around, I can't remember the price. I'll look for an invoice. It wasn't bad. Uh, it was under 300 so not bad. Maybe less. I mean, yeah, I'm definitely under three because I wasn't going to spend more than that. Um, I sold some stuff on eBay. Computer crap I no longer use for crypto mining and uh, getting rid of that crap, trying to minim minimalize, minimalize my life with all this computer stuff. Some stuff you just cannot sell. It's just obsolete. So it's just going to go into the uh, recycling bin uh, with the county where you can... Uh, once a month, take your hazardous material, uh, oils, car stuff like that, and then computer stuff as well, and they will recycle it. Take out your hard drives and or erase everything on the computer if you're dumping it. You don't want someone to uh, grab those disks and uh, take all your information off of it that you may have neglected to erase, which you never really erase anything off a disk. That's the little known secret. But uh, I made a video a couple days ago about an old Dell laptop, and I ripped out the... Uh, hard drive so there if you want to know how, how to do it just you got to do it and it's sitting over here and i'll just throw in a box somewhere for safekeeping um so here we go we got this m12 this one is the fuel um i just want to get the fuel because i think it's the latest model they came out with why not runs off the old lithium batteries oh also with lithium batteries you can i would take those get them out of your house Especially if they got wet, especially in salt water, especially in salt water. Do not put them anywhere near your house. They could self-ignite and have a thermal runaway and burn your house down. So careful with the lithium ion batteries of any sort from a rechargeable battery. I mean to a yeah, a battery on your tools or your bike, e-bike, golf cart, whatever. A car especially. Uh, I know Jeeps and that. Oh my god, there's GMs. They're saying I think Jeeps, especially with their hybrids plug in, do not park them anywhere near anything. Because they're they're massively catching on fire, so yeah, deposit you can uh, dispose of that stuff through your county as well. They will take the lithium ion batteries anyway. My PSA over. Let's get to it. So this gives me which one? I don't know what I got here. I know I wanted this one. This is thrown in as well, and this is the hammer drill driver, and this is the impact driver. So sweet, sweet, sweet. Very good. And then you also get the battery. You get a CP2 battery. And then you get an XC4O battery. You get the charger. Oh, what a cute little bag. I don't see how all that's in here, but it must be. We'll open it up. Uh, yeah, so that's what I wanted to get. I'm going to get this because I had an impact a while ago. I don't know where it's at years ago. And uh, it's just for taking off stuff like tires, lug nuts and stuff. And, uh, and stubborn bolts. That's why I wanted to get that. All right. Before we get started, we need to. Ta -da! Don't stab yourself. All right. Where's the? Is there tape on this? Yes. Cut that. Put the knife back. 
It's like Christmas time. I know I'm trying to minimize, I um, minimalize, but I needed, I just wanted to get this. I'm getting rid of all so much other crap in the house. It's just junk. It's just junk and sometimes you gotta get rid of it. And uh, if you're not using it, especially clothes, household crap. And uh, here's a great book to get. It's called Goodbye Things by Fumio Sasaki. It's translated from Japanese to English. A very good book, a very good Audible too. It's free on Audible right now. So it's called Goodbye Things on Audible. Uh, Fumio Sasaki. And uh, it's just get it and put it at 1.4, 1.5 speed and just buzz through it. It's very, it makes a lot of sense to get away from materialism and stuff like that. Minimize your life as I buy, as I buy new stuff, right? <laughs> All right. Also, when you get stuff, save your boxes for a couple days. Don't just toss them. Stuff may go wrong, especially the shipment boxes the pack the toolboxes if you need to return it just have the stuff save everything oh what i get solutions look at that solutions one key big daddies uh so why old milwaukee why milwaukee um i thought it was old milwaukee milwaukee is uh, i i had the ryobi stuff from home depot all the battery packs I had five, I think four have failed. And the batteries are fine inside. It's just there's something with the little board. I think they got wet or maybe corrosion or just they just wear out over time. Uh, it's like the, the drone batteries too. If you let them sit too long, the board kicks in and says they are in sleep mode forever and you have to be some kind of expert to uh, get them back up and running. I know, I looked at it, I tried a couple things to uh, get the batteries back to working. No luck, no, no joy, so I said, I don't know, let me go with more heavy duty tools, a little more serious quality. You know, some of the rugby stuff breaks, uh, the lights on them, but I mean, they've been okay for what they are. For what they are. They got the job done, the drill I use a lot. The uh, a little air, handheld air compressor was great as well, but I just wanted to switch it up. So since the batteries are gone, the batteries are so expensive, why not just get a new set of tools and the key ones I wanted and go from there. All right. There it is, three eighths inch ratchet, love it. All right, save everything. Now, how do we open this guy? Tape, when there's tape, everything's a knife, especially a knife. So yeah, the price point on these is excellent. When I saw it on Home Depot, I was like, wow. I'll get you the price in a minute. I know I should. I thought maybe there'd be an invoice in here or a shipping. Oh, look at this. They did jam everything in here. All right. All right, we get the bag. You can never have too many tool bags. Oh my God, they put it all inside the tool bag. Oh my God, that's brilliant. Look at that packaging. Whoops, upside down. They put everything in the bag. That's smart. That actually is a smart shipping. That's a smart shipping thing. Make sure I'm still in frame here. All right, let's open one. Right, hold on a sec, guys. Having, I need a little helper. You see that? No. All right, hold on. We're gonna move. Look at that. Look at that professional crane. Boom arm service. Look at the bag, nice bag. Nicer than, okay, not bad. I have a Husky tool bag and this, this bag is a lot nicer already. Look how nice they pack this. Operator's manual, save it. Uh, charger. And the drill, okay. And you just put them in a, put them in a drawer or take a, you know, you can get them online, but even scan them. That way you can get rid of the hard copies. Because it's always sometimes hard to find the hard copies when you need them. But if you have them in a cloud or on a shared drive somewhere, you just go look them up, Google Drive or something. There you go. All right, here we go. Little basic charger. Oh my God. Look how small this impact thing is. This is insane. We've got a clip on it. 
light. Oh my God, this might be my first real two speeds. Reverse forward, brushless of course. This might be my first real quality tool. There's a the little battery. Look at this thing. This is what's expensive, guys, is the batteries. But yeah, oh my God, lock and load. Look at that. The light is gold. Let's see if this lasts. The Ryobi's, most of the lights break. So there you go, there's the impact. I love it, I can't wait to use that. The batteries alone are gold. I don't have my other battery. So they gave me two types of batteries here. One for these, these tools, the one I just put in right here. Do, 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 do. Squeeze. So that's the one style battery for that impact and the uh, ratchet. I win something. What do I win? I have no idea. Uh, all right, whatever. We'll look at that later. Recycle the cardboard, but we'll save it, like I said, for a couple days just in case something stops working. I always try to send back everything that was packaged in the box. Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. This is, holy crap. I thought this was small. This is the drill. This is the impact. It's smaller. Oh my God. What a win. What a find on Home Depot, guys. Impact, look at the size difference. You know, holy schmackerel. There, you see that? This is what I want. Oh my God, I just can't believe this. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Again, not too shabby. So this one is a lithium. What's the difference anyway? I'm not too bright on this. M12. This is a CP 2.0. This is an XC4. Okay, both use the same charger. Yeah, it's the same. Same plug. More juice, I bet. Yeah. Maybe one day I'll read you instructions. Look at that. I think it's just more juice. Oh my God. And look at the lights. Ooh, follow the light. Look at that. Okay, this is going to be my new favorite tool. And this one too. <laughs> it's like Christmas. All right, light turns off. Good. These tools feel a lot more solid. Look, a light on this one too. Unbelievable. There's the lock. Lock is right here. Turn the lock off. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm looking for the, um, what's that on the side? How's that? Little? Oh, lights. Interesting. Oh, that's the battery. Is that the battery? Yes. It even shows you the battery level right there. Not too shabby. Lock. Make sure the lock works. Oh, here it is. So you can lock it. Now you can switch the mo motion right here direction undo lefty Lucy right there we go sweet it's like Christmas love it this is gonna be a very good tool all this so I think with these three tools I'm gonna to be set for a while um, although I do have the Ryobi's little handheld 10 inch circular saw that thing's gold it does what it does you get the right blade on there you are set so anyway that's my little find for the day M12 fuel. Let me go see if I can get the actual price order. Here's my order. Let me get this out to you. Let me get the price. Uh, 
Uh, I'm looking right now, standby. It's the uh, Milwaukee M12 Fuel. Has the 12 volt lithium ion brushless cordless hammer drill, impact driver combo kit, two tool with M12 3 8 inch racket. Sweet. I wish it would show me. Oh, here we go. Oh, it was not that cheap, was it? Let me go back one. There's Home Depot. <laughs> Home Depot. Here's my order. Order is on its way. Home Depot order. Thank you. Received. Total price. So it's the uh, Milwaukee M12 Fuel 12 volt lithium ion brushless cordless hammer drill and impact driver combo kit. And I got the M12 3 8 inch ratchet with it. $229. Unbelievable. That's a cheap price, guys. I saw that. I went, what? Three tools with the batteries and the charger for that price? You can't get that. That was amazing. So that's at Home Depot. Total with tax. Sales tax. Uh, delivery was free. Total with sales tax was $246.18. Anyway, if you're into getting a new tool set for uh, auto stuff in that or whatever you need wrenching around, any stuff you need to work on, this looks like a win. Just the weight, the quality. You can just tell compared to the Ryobi brand. Ryobi has its purpose, the price point. It does what it does. It's great for household stuff. But uh, for heavy duty stuff, this may be the win right here. When you watch most of the mechanics on YouTube, they're really mostly sporting these Milwaukee tools. And they're beating on them. They're all full of grease. And I, I don't know. It just seemed to me that they last. All right. That's all I got. Show and tell day. What is today? Wednesday? Show and tell day is over. Uh, start putting these into use when I uh, do the break job next on the Sequoia. All right, take care. I am out. See you in the next one.